I'm Michelle, the computer lady here at Cellbotics, and I want to talk to you today about what you can do with a CompTIA A plus certificate. A lot of people have been calling and asking me questions about why we gear our course toward the CompTIA A plus certificate or that certification. We do that because CompTIA is the industry standard. And what you can do with the CompTIA A plus cert certificate or certification is to make more money. That's one of the primary goals. Plus, it tells everybody you took the time and made an opportunity to get the certification, which is the beginner or the first certification you get as a beginner in the IT field or computer field. That's why it's so important. So what you can do with it is you can work on the help desk. You can do field support. You can do in-home services. You can do cybersecurity. That's uh, one of the prerequisites for cybersecurity. There are several other options that you can perform having this CompTIA A plus certification. Plus, even if you're looking for jobs, if you had started your business, it puts you in the front of the line when the HR bots look at your resume. That's the first thing they want to see. Do you have the CompTIA A plus certification? Now, will a company hire you without it? Absolutely, but you can't negotiate with them for higher pay. The other part of that is, it also puts you behind all the other people that have taken the time, studied, and got the certification. Now, when we talk about CompTIA A plus certifications, there's two parts. There's a 1001 and a 1002. That's the new test. The old test was just retired on um, July 19, 2019. So and we already have the new material. We have the brand new book. As soon as it came out. As soon as it came out, I got the, the new book. Mm -hmm. And this new book is awesome because it leads you to there's a key in the back that you go onto their website and you can get all the operating system training. That's not something we do here because the operating system training is about nine months because you have to learn not only Windows, but Unix and uh, about the different Mac OSs. So this is focused on the hardware side of it. But then since we're giving you the book and it has the key in the back, right? and you just go on over to the computer when you get home and you start that training on your own. So you're basically getting it included. That's awesome. It, it, it is awesome yeah. because last year they wanted to charge $99 for students, but now it's free for us. As wow. long as you have that book. And that book also allows you to get 10% off your vouchers for your testing. And so you give them that book. And oh, that's, absolutely. Yeah, that's I, great. You know, we, yeah, give, we them, give out books. Yeah. We give the book, the tools. What that value you, is the book? The book is normally $100, but we're um, giving that to you included in the course price. Right. And mm -hmm. so um, for us, you know, we buy it at the wholesale rate, of course. Yeah. But we're giving you that. Um, it has, as far as value, about $250 worth of value because you're going to get that because you don't have to pay the $99 for the operating system class nice. online. So you already get that in for free and you get 10% off your vouchers when you go take your testing. So it's a really good value. We give that to you. We give your tools. That way, it doesn't matter whether you're going to take the test now or later or you're getting the CompTIA A plus certi certification right now. And you're working towards it. You're so working that's... towards it. Because even when you go to an employer and you tell them, hey, I've taken this class. I have this book. Here's here's my registration. I'm already working towards it. Let's, uh, let's talk about that real quick because yeah. we have Shelby. Yeah. She's all over our Facebook and website because she put a video out and she put a, a big review about her job that she got. So I feel pretty free to bring her up in this video because she would not mind at all. She's very happy after working with us. And so she took our device master's, master's class. Uh, Excelled. Wrote, yeah, wrote, um, we actually wrote uh, recommendation letters, right? Yes, we wrote did. recommendation letters. And she, um, did she, she's working on her CompTIA A plus She's working on her CompTIA A plus, but she's also but what, working. She's also working, so she got a job. She got a contract job and making what did she $28 get? an hour mm -hmm. and $125 a day per diem. Yeah, and she, and her, she sent me a, a picture like three days ago. I, I don't know if I showed you or not. She just messaged it through to us, um, basically of her work area now. And she basically is an IT mobile for this huge fuel company. And so she gets to be outside a lot. So she's doing her, what she got training for. She was a beginner and she's in IT now and she gets to work outside mobile and she's making $28 an hour and $125 per day per diem. Exactly. And this is a and mom she doesn't of have four. Right. Single mom of four. Single mom of four. 
and she doesn't have her comp TA A plus. She didn't have her comp TA. Yeah. But the She's thing working. about it is, this company is also going to pay for. Oh, really? They, That's amazing. They're going to pay. Yeah, for and it. I know that they had sent her to some pre testing, which and which they paid her for, and they paid for the testing. And this is a long career for her. And wow. She's extremely excited. I mean, she was in tears when she called us. She just, she went from like, you know, she was trying to do her own repairs that like she had started up. But of course, in the beginning of any business, you just, it's baby steps, you know? Oh, absolutely. And so, but as a single mom, she was like, I need something bigger. And we were like, apply. Exactly. Just apply. And she applied with five places? It was I five. Think, yeah, I think five it was or five. ten or five. It was a very low number, though. And within those, she got that job. And, she went and she was like, I'm just so happy. And she was talking to us the whole time that yep. she was going to the review, the interviews. And it was just like talking to us the other day. She, she called me the day that she had got the job. She called like three hours before. And I kind of was, I spent an hour with her on the phone, mentoring her about getting back into phone repair and just and not getting back into it, but just getting more into it. Right. Like motivating her again, because she's like, Oh, I had got a few repairs. And then, you know, I kind of slowed down and I'm trying to, and she's just like all over the place. And I'm like, look, we got to focus. And then three hours later, she was called and she's like, that job that, you know, Michelle put the recommendation and I got the job. Well, but the thing about it is she put in the work. She did. When she was here, she was engaged. She was. She wanted to do this. I mean, everything I threw at her, all the MacBooks, all the workstations, all the laptops, she was going through, we were doing the repairs, we were doing the diagnostics. So when she left here, she had her, her skill set was already there. Yeah. And, and she was doing work when she left here. She was helping people in her community. She was making money from that. Of course, she wanted to make faster and get into something that, you know, as a working mom, you know. Um, so for her, it was just the recommendation letter made sense because we knew she knew what she was doing. She she's, uh, was amazing in class, and then she was still doing it when she left class. And she hasn't been out of class that long. No, we, no. You, you were only talking about four weeks. No, no, six weeks. Six weeks, yeah. Six weeks. Six weeks, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to bring that up really quick. So then you guys know kind of what, if you're looking for a job, uh, what positions you ideally maybe could look for. And if you're in a big city, you may have more opportunity, less opportunity. I mean, she's kind of in a remote area, but I think that opened her up to more opportunity because her skill was like so like like important maybe like because oh, uh, well, she's out it was out in like well look, it's a fuel company i don't know if, if you check out the links on on the bottom of the blog i have the it links for indeed there were over 1200 it jobs available so this video if you're seeing this on youtube it's also linked on a blog on our website and michelle wrote that blog and it's called um what can you do with a comp tia a plus, a plus cert certification right. so go look for that blog and at the bottom she'll have everything linked down there and i probably we can put a link for that blog in the bottom of this video so if you just if you're on youtube drop down and go click the link and then you can read her blog that she wrote about it i'm telling you hands-on training your comp tia a plus certification you can get these 20 25 28 dollar hour jobs and they're going to like you, one, because you have hands on experience. When you go in there, you're going to be able to, they have their own HR test for, uh, for us technicians. And what you're going to be able to do is take those tests and you're going to be able to ace them because you get the, the experience right here. Yeah. And I know for a fact, um, that our certificate counts towards the hours of the CompTIA. Now I'm not CompTIA A plus certified, so I don't know the whole problem. Michelle is, <laughs> but I know that it does count because I had students that call into us and they say, your certificate counted towards my hours. That's amazing. We have oh, one, absolutely. Yeah, one student who um, is sending his son because his son wants to get now CompTIA A plus certified and our certificate counts towards that. So just so you know, and, and there is a cell phone piece in there and that's why we were pushing the device, device masters, masters. But even if you just do the computer, cause you're just, you're just looking for that piece, that's fine. But just so you know, there is a cell phone piece in there as well. Oh, it's a big cell phone piece because in I the was- In new book, yeah. Yeah, new because new I was doing the assessment test cause it, every new book that you get, I go over the book before I give it to you mm -hmm. to make sure that you're getting the proper training that you're supposed to have before you go to even attempt the test. Mm -hmm. And so I was doing the assessment test. Several of the questions had to do with both iPads, iMacs, iPhones, and Android phones. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know, these are all on this test. Yeah. And so you do have to have cell phone as part of the CompTIA+. Don't think you don't have to have it. It's, it's an integral part. It's part of the whole, when we talk about computer repair. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, the reason that 
Nicole teaches cell phones and tablets is because she's the best at it. <laughs> <laughs> See, workstations, desktop, laptops, that's what I, that's, mm -hmm. that's my specialty. Servers, maintenance, that's what I did out in the field. We didn't have cell phones when I was coming into it. Mm -hmm. And so when we engaged and got together, this is, this is a perfect, perfect match. Like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, <laughs> she does cell phone talent, drones, and the business course. And TV. I, Chris does the TVs. There yeah, you go. He's not here right now. But. Absolutely. I mean, if you look right behind us here, you yeah. see that whole wall of workstations. That's that's not even half of what. Like, that's not half so. of what I had. <laughs> that, we have a storage unit where everything else is. <laughs> exactly. So, you touch lots of equipment. That's why when we say hands-on immersive, this is what you do with your CompTIA A plus certificate. You're hands-on immersive. When you go out and you interview, you're ready to repair. Yeah. They can count on you being able to ready to repair right there when you get there. Yeah, and if you're someone who's already fixing computers or something and maybe you want to get that CompTIA cert certificate, but you're like, I don't know if I'm prepared, you can come to the class and you know, you're going to work through that piece of the book, you know, so. And I, I teach you how to study. Yeah. I teach you this. And I think it's it's a lot cheaper to go through that than like a traditional. Oh, because yeah. they, they offer this at a four year college. Did you know this this course is almost $90,000 at a four year college? Wow. That's interesting. And even if you go to a community college, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with going to community colleges. I love community colleges because they, they do a lot of good work. But you're not going to touch. And you did go to uh, college. I did go to college. Okay. But when you go to community college, you're not going to touch the equipment in that first semester or that second semester. Now, do you have to have a college degree to get a CompTIA A plus? Oh, no, absolutely not. So someone like me who didn't go to college could you go are, and get it? You sure could. Okay. Uh, look, come to my class. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll teach you. <laughs> and I only walk through and say hi, but no. <laughs> no, really. That's this I is, like tiny things. <laughs> this is like this is vocational education. This is hands-on kinet, uh, kinetic learning where you're touching, you're breaking stuff here. That way you're not breaking stuff when you get out. And we teach you how to fix what you break. And that's why when you when you go to employers and we give you a recommendation because I only give recommendations to the students that excel. If you don't excel here, you know, <laughs> I'm not passing you. Yeah. Or you've got to, um, you know, you're, you're still going to go through the course, get your certificate and everything. But for a recommendation, like to an employer, you're just going to have to prove that you've built on your skill. You can't come nine months in and be like, Hey, give me a recommendation. Cause I want to go apply to a job and you haven't touched anything in eight months. Like, you know, we're not going to give you a recommendation for that. Well, like I tell students before you leave, I, every student knows before they leave if they're recommended, if they pass my course. Mm -hmm. There are certain modules you do that you have to go through before you can pass my course. Mm -hmm. And like I tell Nicole, yeah, I test them. No, I don't make it easy because my name is on it. Mm -hmm. I've been in the industry 20 years. I know what it takes to be CompTIA A plus certified. I got CompTIA A plus certified back in 2004. So I've been CompTIA A plus certified for over 15 years now. But I worked in the industry since the 90s. Mm -hmm. But for me, I wanted to work in the industry to get more experience before I went and took the test because the test is, it can be a little intimidating. And that's why I teach you all the, the tips and tricks and how, how to get through these things, even building, repairing, and diagnosing and troubleshooting these devices so you're ready. So there's a lot they can do with oh, their CompTIA certificate. There's at least 10 it. jobs you can do with your CompTIA A plus cert certificate once you once you get it. And, and even before. Edge, right? And not only that, even if you apply to a company and they pick you up, a lot of them require that within six months you get the CompTIA A plus certification. You still have to get it. Got it. They're okay. not, I, I've seen people go and get hired at companies and uh, we're talking about uh, Micro Center, um, the company I used to work for, a uh, big international company, HP, NCR, all those, they require all the technicians to be A plus certified. It's a prerequisite. Mm. Okay. Well, that's great. That's good information. So I think we'll finish it up. We'll put uh, a link down below for her blog that she wrote about this very topic. And if you have any questions, reach out to us. Absolutely. When you reach out to us, we always answer. And it's live. It's not a bot. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it so. actually goes to our, our phones. So uh, be absolutely. Kind. Be kind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call it 3 o'clock in the morning. Or it's going to be off, you know, so. <laughs> Hers is, mine's not. Check out the website. You know, check out our website. A lot w of people just go and 
go to the site and go to the chat and then ask a bunch of questions, which is fine, but our website is full of a lot of helpful information and we feel like if you're going to invest that kind of money, I mean, we're not, we're not trying to sell you. We want people who we can help. And so go through the website, visit the pages, look at the videos, read Check our success FAQs. stories, look at the FAQs. Okay. All right. Great. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Michelle, the computer lady. Check us out at www.selfotics.com and we'll see you in class real soon.